Hello friends, my name is Luisa A. Gloria and I want to greet everyone who is here to watch this program. Greetings to Pintig and to all the supporters of Pintig and this program as I understand it is in celebration of Women's History Month. So I've chosen to read two poems to you from my most recent book Maps for Migrants and Ghosts. It is from Southern Illinois University Press. The first one is, we don't live in the light. We don't live in the light, only to forget everything. Neither do we lie in the dark, just to barter these days of bee hum and wheat grass for a mouthful of seeds. When the days are long like this, the heart casts a longer shadow the future swings like a bell or flaps like a shirt or shroud, drying to a certain shape on the line. I count out the hard clicking of abacus beads to clear more space, but the hours hurtle toward their edge. Am I supposed to become that woman then? crazed by the blinding silence of snow, seduced by the river's mystery under ice. When I keen into the wind, door hinges rattle as if possessed. I won't quiet them. Once I was a body that housed other bodies. I was expected only to give, not to take. Once I was told to seal one mouth and open the other. And for my second poem, uh, I'd like to read uh, this one called Orchard, which is a sort of meditation on the apple and all the different stories that are told about it, which also have something to do with um, the supposed fate of women. Orchard. It's fall, season of the apple, iconic fruit of this America. Mounds of excess littering the grounds of orchards from want of migrant hands to pick the harvest clean. There read the banner of every girl or woman who tips her head up to the knowledge of her power, which means she can see the way things work in the world and chooses not to be shamed any longer for calling it. For what did the hissing in the leaves tell her that she didn't already know? or the laughter behind closed doors when she ran, groping her way out. Don't pretend you don't know what I want, said every snake in the grass. Survival means no one dies, but someone is forced to take the fall. The smallest bird, the lowest fruit, though the fruit isn't to blame for its sheen, nor the star for marking the place where its light was last seen. Thank you so much.